In the vast expanse of ancient history, civilizations rose and fell, but commerce was the lifeline that connected them. One such trade route was unparalleled in its impact, the Silk Road. It wasn't just a road, but a vast network stretching over 4,000 miles. From the bustling markets of Chang'an to the Roman streets, goods, cultures, and ideas flowed. Silk, as the name suggests, was a prized commodity, sought after by the elites of the West. But it wasn't just silk. Spices, paper, and precious metals made their way across continents. Trade wasn't the only thing that traveled. With it came religion, philosophy, and science. The road was treacherous. Deserts, mountains, and hostile territories were constant challenges. Yet, the allure of profit and adventure drove many to brave these challenges. Oasis towns and caravanserais sprung up, serving as rest stops and trading hubs. Empires saw the benefits and many, like the Persians and the Tang Dynasty, protected and promoted these routes. For centuries, the Silk Road flourished. But like all great things, change was inevitable. Maritime routes became more popular, and the once bustling trail began to lose its sheen. Political instability, wars, and the spread of diseases like the plague further hindered its use. Yet, the legacy of the Silk Road remains, a testament to human endeavor, bridging East and West. By the end of the 15th century, the Silk Road had lost its dominance. Europe sought alternative paths to Asia, leading to the age of exploration. The seas became the new highways for trade. While the route's physical importance dwindled, its cultural and intellectual impacts were indelible. The Mongol Empire, at its zenith, rejuvenated the Silk Road, ensuring safety and promoting trade. In modern times inspired by its legacy, initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative seek to rekindle that spirit of transcontinental connectivity. Yet, the physical remnants of the old Silk Road whisper tales of yore. From the ruins of caravanserais to ancient bazaars still operating in cities like Kashgar. In places like Dunhuang, ancient manuscripts and art echo the rich tapestry of cultures that converged on the route. The Silk Road's decline was not the end, but a transformation. Today we speak of globalization, but the seeds were sown on this ancient path, echoing tales of adventure, trade, and cultural exchange. The essence of the Silk Road was connection. Despite its decline, that spirit endures, a testament to humanity's desire for exchange, understanding, and growth. Want more thrilling tales from the past? Smash that like button and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Ancient Narrator's channel to plunge deeper into history's enigma. Your next quest to ancient knowledge awaits.